Karen and I have got a little hourglass haul for you and it's definitely little because they're all sample sizes or travel sizes they're called actually and I thought this was great I was having a look on the website and I was looking at the blushes and I thought that doesn't seem the right amount of money I'm sure they were much more expensive than that and it said travel size and I thought oh great and then I found that they had a couple of other travel size things the funniest thing is I bought the powder thinking oh I'd love to try that <laughs> turns out I've got the full size of it so when I met Kev he told me that he had rented, I remember the film, it was called Ransom with Mel Gibson in it. And he said to me that he had rented it three times. And this was in the days where you went along, we used to walk along to Blockbusters. It was, you know, a couple of streets away, take a movie off the shelf, go home and watch it. And he said, but it used to be like, like half an hour in, he'd be like, oh my God, I've already seen this movie. And he did that three times. The closest thing I did to it was I came home from Edinburgh one day from visiting my friend and I used to always buy books. You know, again, this was before kindle books and whatnot and i found psychologists for dummies and i just was like oh, i can't wait to read this i'm so excited blah 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 and kev was like you've got one on the shelf <laughs> and i had already bought the book before and it was sitting on my shelf so it's not unusual for me to do that really um and i i love travel size things i've been obsessed with miniatures since i was a teenager i used to get them for christmas and my stepmom was great she'd always buy me lots of miniatures i just had a thing for little bottles I thought they were so cute um, and I still do and I also think it's good value for money and so these were from Colt Beauty um, and I think there are other things aside from these to try as well um, but I'll tell you what I think of these so the first thing I saw was this and it is the Hourglass well obviously it's Hourglass it says number 28 primer serum number 28 does that mean that there's lots of other serums or lots of other primers I've tried the Veil primer years ago and I've, I was never that much into primers. I've been more into them recently because I found a couple that I feel have, have been quite nice and have, have worked a little bit. Um, and this had such good reviews. I was like, right, I'm going to try it. I, I wouldn't have bought it in a full size. So anyway, it comes out like a kind of really sticky. What does it remind me of? I don't know, but it's really gloopy. And I was really surprised when it came out. And the other thing I was surprised at was I put it on my face and I was like, whoa, there's fragrance in that. I didn't even look at the ingredients. And primer's a funny one. You can see how shiny and, like I said, gloopy. It's not sticky at all, actually. It feels lovely. It feels really, really nice. Um, but, you know, I don't ever check and see if there's perfume in foundation because I always feel like it's just sitting on my skin. It's not sinking in. It's on top of all my skincare that has no fragrance. That doesn't necessarily make sense. That's just the way I've always been. I think it's just like, oh, God, there's another thing to check, you know. And I don't use any foundations that are really that heavily fragranced. Um, and I'm not sure what I think about primers with fragrance. And I prefer it didn't have this much fragrance and it's really overpowering. It's nice, but it's definitely an essential oil. It's like a sort of spearmint mixed with rose or something like that. It smells lovely, but it's very, very overpowering. Anyway, um, I put it on today and I have to say, I was like, oh, wow, this is lovely. I put it underneath my Kat Von D True Portrait Foundation. That's where I've got on. And I do love that foundation and it does look lovely. But this just seems to add, I don't know, it made it look a bit more flawless. Um that could be the placebo effect, you know, because that's what everybody was saying. And I, what I really need to do is put it on one half and compare it to the other, don't I? Definitely. But I'm going to use this again. And like I said, unless unless it's amazing, I won't continue using it with that amount of fragrance in because I think that's just too much. Um, but it did it did look really nice. Has anybody used that? What do you think? Um, and, and have you tried any of their other primers? They've, they've probably got other primers in that kind of trial size, you know? These four items totaled £70, by the way, without the postage. Um, okay, so that was the primer. I then used the powder. I really like this. I think I said that when I got the, the big one. Um, I like the packaging. I like the product. I seem to remember it had a funny smell. Yeah, it does. It's got an odd smell. I don't like the smell of this. It's not a perfume smell, this, but um, I didn't notice it, funny enough, when I put it all over my face. But I put it under my eyes this morning. They're probably a bit too white um, because I was using the Huda Nude Nude Obsessions palettes and there's always fallout. So I cleaned up, then put a bit of concealer. I put too much concealer on and then 
I went in with this on a smaller brush, like under my eyes, and I noticed the smell then, and I was like, oh, I don't really like that smell. Um, but I do really like it as a powder, and I love this diddy little thing. This is perfect. The great big pots that you get with powder, I just, I don't want something that size in my makeup bag. So I really like that. I feel like that just kind of, kind of perfected everything. And I don't know whether, how it would hold up against oil and whatnot, but really pretty. Next is the blush. And I don't know what I think about this because as soon as I saw it, I was like, mm. I remember now when I used to buy these, because I did have about three of these and the only one I kept was Dim Infusion. I remember that it was best to go in and buy them in the store and I bought them in Harvey Nichols because there was varying degrees of the highlight portion and the blush portion and you wanted to get one that had you know a decent amount of the blush portion and so when I looked at this I thought well there's not none in it but it's not like majority blush it seems to be majority whatever the highlight is um, because I was really attracted to that pretty pink colour it's something what is it called? radiant magenta this one um so anyway that's what i've got on today and i do think it's lovely but i think it's nothing like magenta you know i don't think you can even see that there's any pink in it i think it's just mixing with whatever that is let's see if i swatch it yeah that's nothing like magenta is it I don't know how that's gonna go on on top of that you know it comes off it's like almost pointless there being a magenta color in there because it's it's not, it's just not magenta. That's more sort of leading towards peach. That's more what I would put on if I was, if I had a coral or peachy look, um, whereas I was really wanting the magenta side of it. So yeah, I'm not sure what to make of that. I love the dinky little size and it's it's still a perfect size for getting your blusher brush in, you know, no problems with that. Um, and it is a beautiful blusher. I mean, I don't think it's, I don't think there's anything else wrong with it. It's just not the colour that I wanted. So I am going to have a look at the blushes next time I'm in Harvey Nichols. But the, the full size of this is £35. And I think this is £17. Um, £35 for a blush is just crazy, isn't it? Oh, one thing left. And it is there. Caution Extreme Lash Mascara. I heard somebody, it might have been Jamie Genevieve, somebody saying that they loved this mascara. And again, because it was a mini and it looked like my type of brush, I thought I would try it. Which is a bit silly, really, because I'm not ever going to buy the full size of this. Even if it was amazing, I'm unlikely to buy a full size high end mascara because I just think it's something you use up so much, you know. Um, sorry, I was just distracted by the barking there and thinking, is that my little missy? There's a little Shih Tzu in the block. Of flats that I live in and when it's windy I sometimes text her owner and say do you want me to take her because she's scared of the wind um, and I'm wondering if she's scared of the wind but then that's obviously her owner come to take her for a, a walk she works but she comes home at lunchtime to take her out she's very old Missy and she's just adorable I'm wondering if I should text her anyway completely aside um, but I, I think it's nice to have little samples of these things you know just to know what everybody's talking about so I used this this morning, I've only used it once and I have got lashes on and I thought it was okay. I really just thought it was just okay. I've just done a favourites in which I talk about my, uh, the gosh, new mascara called Rebel Eyes and I actually prefer that one to this one. Um, it's a nice brush. There was nothing, there was nothing bad about it and, you know, I won't know until the end of today whether it crumbles or flakes or anything and it it's it seemed to just be nice you know there was nothing bad about it but there was nothing amazing about it um so out of these four things i would say i do love this and you know i do love this blush i'm just surprised at the color i might actually order a couple of other colors because they all look beautiful um so i might get a couple of other colors and see what i think um, because they do the, they do quite a few colours in this little travel size. I really like that primer. I felt like it really made everything airbrushed. But I'm wondering if I've just fallen into the trap of believing that because everybody said it. Um, and I don't love the fragrance. This, I'm not, don't feel like I'm missing out. This is absolutely lovely. And if you have lusted after trying this, I think this is a great way of trying it with a little mini like this. I don't know, I can't remember how much this was, but obviously not as expensive as the big one. I got all of these from Cult Beauty um, and I think they're really good, I have to say. I've been using them for most of my beauty.
beauty purchases lately and I can't remember exactly what it was, but I got one that was, was it the milk that I got the milk pigment? And one of them, I replied and said, this is nothing like the color it says it's gonna be. And they sent me another one. Um, so I think I've had great customer service from them. When I've asked them questions, they've answered. The delivery is always really good. You know, it's not with a dodgy courier or anything like that. Um, so yeah, I do recommend Cult Beauty. It's one of those websites where I would love to do a Cult Beauty haul. I always think to myself, you know, my dream as a YouTuber would be for one of those kind of websites to say, would you like to do a haul? And you can just buy, you know, 200 pounds of stuff and do a haul video. And I'd be like, oh, yes, please. <laughs> because then you're choosing the products, you know, and um, yeah, kind of like I did with the Yes Style. I know that I like Cult Beauty. It would then just be about the products. So um, anyway. let me know what your favourite hourglass things are. Um, I'm going to go and have a look at what other travel size they've got and maybe put in another order. Although I need to wait really until after what's some surgery now, until after we've sold the car. Oh my God. Okay, I'm going to love you and leave you because the sun is shining right at me and it's actually making me look oily, isn't it? Or, does, or do I just look glowy? <laughs> no, I don't think so. Anyway, um, I'll list all of my makeup in the description. Thank you so much for watching it and I'll speak to you again soon.